In this video, I want to examine the effects of misalignment the dowel holes could have on the indexing pin. Currently, the center to center distance of the dowels is inch and a quarter, and the center of one dowel to the center of the indexing pin is just over inch and a quarter. But what would happen if the dowels were out of alignment by as little as five thou as shown here? This five thou misalignment of the dowels will put the indexing pin hole out of alignment by over eight thou. This possible positioning error needs to be decreased. To decrease it, we're going to increase the distance between the dowel holes. So I've increased my part size, which allowed me to increase the center to center distance of the dowel holes to two and a quarter inches. And let's examine what effect a five thou misalignment over this distance will have. By increasing the center to center distance of the dowel holes to two and a quarter inches, if there's a five thou misalignment now, the indexing pin misalignment drops to half of that, two and a half thou. Before going any further, we need to know, is that two and a half thou possible misalignment acceptable? Well, we have to fall back to the 20 to 50% rule for jig and fixture design. This rule states that any tolerance on the jig or fixture must be 20 to 50% of the part tolerance that it's controlling. Therefore, before I go any further with my design, I need to come back and look at my part drawing as shown here and calculate what the allowable tolerance is for this position. If the position of these holes were three decimal places and had the plus or minus five thou tolerance, then 50% of that would be plus or minus two and a half thou and 20% would be plus or minus one thou. If these holes were positioned with linear dimensions to three decimal places, my design would be good because with a five thou maximum positional dowel error, the indexing pin is out two and a half thou, well within our 20-50% rule. However, these holes are dimensioned with an angular dimension, and our angle tolerance is plus or minus one degree. Therefore, we need to do some trig to figure out what's our allowable plus or minus positional tolerance. For the 37 and a half degree angle from hole to hole, we can see here that the x dimension is 1.1414 and the y is 1.4875. Then when we increase the angle by the tolerance of one degree to 38.5, we see the new X position is 1.1672 and the Y is 1.4674. Now taking the linear values, we can see the positional tolerance is plus or minus 25 thou and 20 thou. Working with the smallest one, plus or minus 20 thou, our new design is well within the specified tolerance. In the next video, we'll calculate the allowable positional tolerance for the two bolt holes.